Welcome back viewers. Now I'm going to react to Guardian Zero of BFDI Teapot. Hope you enjoy. Hello, what's going on here? I'm teaching Cake and Book how to play yo-yo chess. Yeah, Nickel, it's really, really fun to play. Here, when this game finishes, you can play me next. Wait, I thought I was next in line. Oh, sure, that would be fun. But yeah. then why are we playing on top of this life-threatening roller coaster? Well, that was not, that, that is weird. Oh, um, I don't know why we're here. Pillow was just about to explain that to us. She is the expert. Yeah, Pillow, why do we have to play? Huh? <laughs> Ooh. Whoa, that was so scary. <laughs> you know, it's so serious and exhilarating. Go? He questioned the rules of yo-yo chess. How you know that? You didn't even see him. Nobody questions Did the rules you? of yo-yo chess. If you say so, Pillow. What? Why are all my pieces suddenly on the weakest squares? Pillow, are you sure you put the pieces back in the right places? Ah! Oh. oh, awesome! Uh, I've been meaning what? to buy a juicy gumball from this gumball machine, but I couldn't afford it until now. I'm rich! Oh boy. <laughs> You are so gonna be disappointed with the fact that nickel doesn't even fit. Also, he's a nickel, not a quarter. I'm rich. I'm rich. Ah! <laughs> 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 Yo! <laughs> just got love this intro. I forgot, last time our seven teams tried making their best amusement park ride. The S and teammates ended up with the lowest range of 0 out of 10, so they're both up for elimination. Whichever members on each team got the fewest viewer votes will leave the battle for the power of 2. 2, spit out that gum. It's time to be a respectable host. Oh, I guess you have a good point. There, now that'll never be a problem we'll have to deal with ever again. Say with me everyone, it's gonna be. Ooh, I have a good idea. Let's do cake at stake on the S stage we built last time. That's a lovely idea, Ball. We must do that. Everyone, welcome to the grand opening of the new cake at stake stage. Alrighty then, Essers, let's get on stage. That's a huh? terrible idea, Ball. We mustn't do that. W w why not? Wait, is Bottle crying inside herself? Oh, uh, wait. Does that mean her eyes are inside her body? E e How are your tears flowing inside the bottle? Don't yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I just said. Cry bottle. It's simple. The reason you can't come on stage yet is because teammates technically did worse than your team because you at least built a stage and they didn't make anything. So as punishment, they're going to lose a member first. Oh, that makes sense. Anyway, too, let's give the teammates the best cake at stake ceremony ever. Let's do it. Gramophone, we've been training for this moment for weeks. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean? What do you mean you've been trained with even Gramophone? He's a recommended character. How long has he been been there? It's time for you to shine now. Hit it! Hey, two! When you bake a cake, decorate a Oh! Awesome intro! <laughs> Clever urge like a jello feed. <laughs> I gotta applaud you for that. That's, that's excellent. <laughs> Chef's kiss. Oh wow, I'm loving that new cake at steak jingle too. Thanks, Buffy. I figured new stage, new song. Also, this episode's cakes are delicious burritos. They're smart, mm. creative. Yeah, yeah. Take notes, BFDIA. Take notes. Not overly dramatic, they'll listen to your problems, and they love writing. What impressive burritos. Uh. How are you all being so optimistic right now? Our team is in danger. One of us will be exterminated. Don't worry, Pin. Whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Uh, also, I'm speaking right now because statistics show whoever speaks right before two announces the votes has the highest chance of getting cake first. Huh. 
Uh. Epin is safe with 4,762 votes. Seriously? Also safe are Coiny, hmm. Bathbag, Gatey, and Needle. Oh no, Donut. It looks like Zane has caught up to us. Yeah, it's either huh? you or I leaving today. And the answer is that, well, Saw, you're out. You fell a few votes short of Donut. Aw, that's not great. Oh boy. Hey, mm, okay, the uh, question. And question two, are you gonna fix Saw of her eight screaming mean methods, her her reaction, her condition her condition? And are you gonna fix that of her? I'll always cherish building that restaurant with you guys. But two, just curious, how many votes was I short of donut by? Perhaps eight? Huh? Yeah, actually. It, it's exactly eight. What is going on? VS! E yeah, I agree with two. What is going on? And she said eight, but then screamed it. So they're going away. Did they just run away? You're up for elimination next. Just like teammates, whichever one of you got the fewest votes is eliminated. It's so awesome to finally be on stage. Yellowface, you just spoke, so you're safe with 8,744 votes. So is Winner, huh? Rocky, Clock, and Bottle. Hee <laughs> soggy burritos, my favorite concoction. Well, it's time How to are you eat that? You me, also, ew. Paced gundes just have it so hard these days. Yeah. It's probably because you evaporate too easily. Just stop doing that. Shh, fries. You're made with obscene amounts of oil, so you're not much better. Anyway, the person eliminated is Cloudy. You came 900 votes short of Ice Cube, which means you're gone, like a puff of smoke. Oh man, I'm set. I wasn't able to stay longer. Oh, I guess that her two is gonna go at Cloudy. Well, it's Cloudy. He collects. But I'm happy I was at least able to collect so many nice memories with this team, though. Bye, everyone. Bye, indeed. Holy cow! Man, it's a real bummer that Saw's gone. I agree. It was really fun getting to know her. She had a sharp wit. Yeah, hashtag Team Sharp. And one time, Saw and I even smelled this funny plant together. Plant? That's clearly a flower. It was the best. Maybe we can use this plant as a shrine to remember her memory then. That's a great idea. Yeah, even more so because I know this species of flower has three lives. Wait, so oh, what? Is, does this flower have a similar concept of cats? Like, they consensually have nine lives like in the video game? It, except this flower just has three? I am so confused here. I learned that in gardening class. Ah! Huh? Okay, how could a plant have more than three lives, let alone a flower? Tee -hee! Chase the gum! I'm pretty sure that would it would not damage a flower. <laughs> gum bubble! Here I come! Ah! No! Game over. My soggy burrito concoction! <laughs> My friend Saw. She isn't dead, you know. She's only eliminated. Oh, yeah. No big deal, then. Yes, big deal. That was the last specimen of the funny plant alive on this planet. Now that we've made the species go extinct, we've ruined the biodiversity of Goiki. No need to worry, Fanny. Mm. There are actually seven specimens of the funny plant still alive now, in different biomes across the universe. Why are these, these flowers called funny plants, really? What do they do? Ooh, what, what do they do besides having three lives? Unfortunately, they're all down to their last life, so they desperately need protection. Which is why today's challenge is to pick a biome out of a hat and then protect that biome's funny plant. Biome? Um, so Jack and Jelfi have played. So Jack and Jelfi played Terraria? Or Starbound? What biome did you get, Marker? Dongle. Mm, yeah, Terraria. I'm thinking Terraria. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute, never mind. I Starbot also has a say jungle biome. Shouldn't be too hard Shoot. to protect a flower in a jungle. Yeah, and we're experts at preventing death. 
these days. Yeah, snowy tundra, just like me. Snow oh, gr oh man, both Troy and Starbound have that have those biomes. Tundra, how can a flower grow in that? Oh no, we're doomed. You peeked inside the hat, didn't you, Snowball? Maybe. Figures. Let's see what we got. Out of space? This isn't good. That's not a biome, but I think it is a biome in Terraria. Teammates, we are going to Yoyo Land. Whoa, I'm feeling deja vu. Ooh, but it'll be my first time there. Let's take a look. I'm pretty sure. Er, er, I'm pretty sure Yoyo Land is an area, not a biome. Oh, I hope you guys got enough water stored up because our funny plant is in the desert. Awesome! We can play Yoyal Chess by the cacti! That's against Yoyal Chess rules! My team, we're going to the biome of the David Land! Oh, seriously? That's a biome? And, ah, oh, seriously? <laughs> Don't say that. It's already bringing back horrifying memories from my past. I didn't even know David Land was a biome. I just figured it was like a congregation. What? The real world? Okay, wait. How can Teardrop even go to the real world? going to get to our biomes good question i definitely don't want to tire your little leggies out so last week i commissioned golf ball to build these bracelets wow last time helmets and this time bracelets you're really getting into wearable tech i sure am a silly bracelet how's this gonna help my team get to yoyo land try it on whoa purple grass yellow sky there's no way i'm i'm actually in yoyo land Katie, remember when I told you this was my lifelong travel destination? Well, mm. we're finally here! Teleporter bracelet. Ah, haha. <laughs> Where are you? Oh no, don't tell me I got Just lost. say it's a teleporter bracelet. Ah! Oh, MPF. Then just take off the bracelet if you want to come home, barf bag. Oh, I see. Oh, hey, golf ball. Would you like to be invited to my brand new shape hater? Now I know Jack and Jellify have, have played Terraria or even just watched it. Because I'm pretty sure this is based on the magic mirror and the cell phone. Oh, no. the cell phone. Her club. Where'd she go? So, teams, use golf balls bracelets to teleport to your biome and then protect your funny plant at all costs. First two teams whose plants die will be up for elimination. Also, if you kill any of the seven funny plants yourself, your team automatically loses. Go! Hey, two. Thanks for picking a challenge that protects plant life. You're welcome, tree. We botanical contestants appreciate it. And also because, you know, preventing death. Oi, grassy. Yeah. And robot flower. Y but yeah? you're a machine. I actually don't know if you count. Enough squabbling. Now she it's doesn't. Time to get going. Huh? Well, I guess I fit right in here. Thanks for joining me here. Uh. Okay, 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 guys. guys, this is just going, going too far. How is Black Hole Old's bracelet not inside his event in Horizon? Uh, nor is, you know, his photon spear here? It should be inside his event horizon. Your team? Oh, Earth thing, just like me. Jungles are so cool. I hate jungles. Agree to disagree. Wow, this jungle has so many exotic plants. Vines, orchids, and cherries. Hi, hi, yes, it's me, Cherry Jr., the orphan. Surprising. Huh? I thought the jungle what? was too humid for cherry trees to grow. Hello? It is. That's why I'm an orphan. And there's the funny plant we need to protect. Oh, my cloud. It is so cute. Oh, jeez, whoops. Ouchie, ouchie. I'm transforming what? into lightning cherry. What? My senses. Uh, uh oh, okay, okay, okay. What, how do I say this? Oh, oh, yeah. What's this? Cherries evolving. Congratulations, Cherry has evolved into Lightning Cherry! Detect <sighs> that the funny plant is down to 15% health. Oh my acorn. So soon and our precious baby is already nearly dead. I know, I'm really sorry that happened. I hate you being here in the jungle! Okay, wait, wait. Sh shouldn't the Lightning have touched that with his body and not his hand? 
Fanny's right. And for it to get zapped. No hard feelings, but our team would be better off preventing death if you stayed back home. Wait, no, I'm sure I can be more careful. I agree. No, 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 no. He's gone. <laughs> so, wait, he's bracelet to teleport along with him? I'm right in my element. Ugh, I can't believe we have to protect this flimsy flower in the frigid cold just because of Snowball's dumb ego. Ego? You're the ego. Eggie's right. This flower's oils are failing as we speak. Is there anything we could do to warm it up? Oh, I know. Sound waves generate heat, and I'm a master of making sound. Good idea. Do it. Yeah, let's do it, girl. Warm up, warm up. Every paddle should be ice. Warm up, warm up. Get all toasty, hot, and nice. Warm up, warm up. Every paddle should be ice. Warm up, warm up. Okay, oh, okay. Oh, okay, Jack and Jellyfy. I know you... You made that based on on the clean up, clean up, everybody do your part, clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. You know, that song from Barney, the dinosaur. It's working, it's working! Keep it up, Bill. Hmm. I'm gonna move my truck piece. It's not called a truck piece, it's called a free smart super van. Okay, my free smart super van. I'll move yeah. it. Here, haha, -ha, right into my trap. Are you guys seriously playing yo-yo chess when we have this funny plant to protect? Yo-yo chess is fun. Babysitting a plant is not fun. No, Pillow. Nickel is right. Thank you. This plant is getting really dry. Let's split up and search across the desert for water. Good plan, Ooh. price tag. Yeah, yeah, that's what we should be so, doing. Um, tennis bro, where's golf girl? She already used her bracelet to get to David Land. Then let's put on our bracelets and join her there. Uh, actually, Puffball. What's wrong? Because you caused such a havoc last time with your deadly roller coaster, Golf Ball instructed me to ban you from participating this time. But I still want to help! Sorry, Puffball, it's just protocol. But to you other are you okayers, equip your bracelets and let's head off to David Land! Hey, bud, your team left you behind too? Yeah. They must have a thing against us flying contestants. Maybe they do. Team S, let's oh, head off to uh, outer space. Oh, right, yeah. Right. Oh, but uh, not you, Ice Cube. You're made of water, so you might sublimate in a vacuum. Better stay here on Earth. What? Sorry, Icy. It's for your own safety. Wow, Ice Cube. You two. But uh, Ice Cube was in space before. Left and right. In oh, season one, in episode it's twenty. Okay to feel that way, Ice Cube. At least the three of us understand what it feels like. Warm, 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 yes. Oh, 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 wow, okay. These ad sets look, look legitimately good. I'm not gonna lie. You'll stay toasty and healthy. Warm, 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 you will stay toasty and healthy. Keep going, Bill. This funny plant looks like it's almost up full health. Um, I don't know. It looks like it's gonna get hot, actually. And strong plant, grow big and strong. Uh, Team members? Where are you? Oh, great. Belle lost her bracelet. She's gone. We gotta get her back. Can we give her a call with touch tone telephone? Maybe. Where did you get him from? Their landline connection can work across biome borders. I don't think so, Robot Flower. I love Touchtone's aesthetic, but Belle doesn't strike When have you even met Touchtone on phone? And our funny plan is already starting to freeze again. We need a plan B. But it's so desolate here. What objects on this mountain could even be used to generate heat? I um, suddenly fire? have an idea in Logs? mind. I'm grassy. Yeah, we're in space now. Whoa. I never would have guessed that we'd get these nifty space pods. That's awesome, because look! That super distant quasar is about to shoot a deadly gamma ray in our direction! Uh oh. What? <laughs> See, because of the protective space pod, that just tickled. Take that, quasar! Oh, I don't, I don't know, bottle. Gamma ray bursts make me feel a little nauseous. Oh no, Rocky too! <gasps> No, he's drowning! Uh, Rocky drowning uh, is sad news, but our funny plant thriving in space is happy news! Whoa, look at the Earth! So, can what can they do? Here. I wonder, what's going on down there? Well, teammates, here we are, at the glorious expanse of Yoyo Land! Gasp! It's 
Let's get yoyo berries. What's this? A ripe yoyo berry? Yeah, no, I had plugging. to make that reference. <laughs> Don't worry, Needle. I wasn't gonna eat it. Besides, it's worth more than its weight in gold to collectors. So I'll just save it as a souvenir. But Barfbag, the only collector who wants it that badly isn't here with us anymore. So he can't even buy it from you. Wait, who are you? Oh, right. Anyway, Team Eaters, here's our funny plant. The cool thing is, Yoyo soil is very fertile, so the funny plant should have no problem thriving here. Fascinating! I can see it growing in real time! Um, Dota, OMB. Wow. Dota you really should not have... Oh, brother, this guy's just so dumb. Dota, you really should not have, have been so close to it. Between this and your knowledge of yo-yo seeds, you seem to know a lot about plants. Yeah, I'm just obsessed with reading about yo-yo biology. Oh. Well, oh. are you okayers? Huh. We're back in the depths of David Land. Um, I'm pretty sure only some of, some of you are back. And eraser and pencil, this is their first time. Uh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> As for Eraser and Pen, this is their first time being in David Land and TV. I remember it well. So do I. Well, it's my first time here and I'm kind of spooked. Never I remember mind. David from season one, but why are these Davids so much bigger? Silly Pen, most Davids are this size. The David we saw way back then was simply a smaller variant of the species. OMTBM. Like Pokemon. Another funny plant that we have to save, but why is it so close to one of the Davids' legs? Oh, wait, this is actually a serious problem. TV, calculate the reverberation rate of a large sized David saying, ah, seriously. <laughs> The rate of a large sized David saying, ah, seriously. Oh, 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 come on. This is, is how, how TV, this is how TV does it? Really? Huh? Oh no, 2,763 reverberation, you. What is, what, what is Jack and Jelly's fixation on this particular number? Why, seriously, why is it like, like 2,763 so much? It's, that's so bad. How tragic. No, I actually have no clue what that means. Is that a big deal? Yes, it's a big deal, Fries. Remember, the Davids will say, ah, uh, seriously, if you provoke them, which you did last time. It's about time. Davids are the most annoying creatures I have ever laid my eyes upon. When we were a mile up, their ah, uh, seriously sounded at a moderate volume. But here on ground level, it will sound so loud, it'll probably rupture all our eardrums. And worse, the reverberations will destroy the funny plant. <laughs> you finished each other's sentences. This is serious, Eraser. It means that we can't utter a single insult to the Davids, or else they'll hear and we'll lose this challenge. Oh no, you mean I can't even say that the Davids look like absolute? No, you can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of the time I was thinking of going up to a David and- oh. No! Don't worry, golf ball! Okay, but why not just, you know, just normally talking to the Davids? Like, uh, having a conversation like, Hey, David, how are you up there? How's the weather up there? Wait, would, would that be insulting to say, how's the weather up there? Because, hey, how about you just give if the Davids compliments? How how would that how would that do? I know exactly what you mean. I shouldn't say the fact that Davids are truly tennis ball health. Oh yes, doing my duty. Phew. Oh hey, Bonnie, what's up? Hey there. I haven't. It's been a long time since we actually seen David, or at least a David in a different angle. Idea. Are you cool with dying for this challenge? Sure! Yay! Whoa! Oh my gosh! What? Yeah, cactuses I'm pretty have sure cactuses inside. have their own back, juice, Billy. not water. Plant. Time to quench your thirst. Yay! I nailed it! I found a fancy water bottle. It was in the side of an abandoned van. Wait, awesome. I think it was well, the free smart arts van. Water bottle in the side of an even more abandoned van. You sure did. Wait, Wait what? what? You can huh? talk? 
I sure can. And it's not an even more abandoned van. It's my home sweet mobile home. Got it. Hey, uh, can I pour your innards on this funny plant? We need to win this challenge. Oh, sure. I've always wanted to use my sparkling water for something useful, so go ahead. How long have you been, though? Thanks, talking water bottle. No problem, Nickel. I talking water, water bottle? But I'm a That's racist. Oh, oh, so oh, wait, what should I say? Objectsis. That is just, that is just objectsis. Never gives up growing. No way, that worked. So that means we've got everybody except, uh, Bommy? I exploded him intentionally. Ah, uh, that's <sighs> fair. Yeah. Wait, and Cake! Uh-oh, um, I, I hope we reminded Cake to avoid that ancient yellow face skeleton that died in BFDIA ten years ago. Oh my huh? word! What? We definitely didn't remind him about that. This is my first time hearing about this skeleton. This music is from Challenge to Win. I would know I heard it there. Where is it? I can't find any water. Maybe there's some behind here? No. Yellow face has a skeleton? Where could it be? Where could it be? Okay, he's a face. So sure, but but technically he's a head. Wanna play charades? Not really. I still wanna convince my team I can contribute. I mean, I agree, but what can either of us really do? Don't you still have your jungle bracelet? This thing? Oh yeah, I do. I guess when Marker pulled it off my arm, both me and the bracelet got sent home. So why don't you put it back on again and help your team compete? Oh, I don't know. They meant to kick me out, and I don't want to over-insist too much. Like, I wouldn't want to attend a party I wasn't invited to, you know? Well, I would. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you coming for my bracelet? This is mine. Come on, T-Bot's more fun when we get to shake. Up. You don't want to go to the jungle, hmm. so I Are we having the same thing with BFDIA 5E? Stop it! Hey! Stop it! Uh, I gotta be smarter about this. Oh! Huh? Let's ride my roller coaster belt! I hate roller what? coasters though! You know, you know, oh, I'm sorry. You know, Oh, Kuffo should really, really take her time on, you know, going up Bell's string. Huh? Hey! Wow! What is that thing? It's Puffball. She's not a Death Pact Again member, though. I'm here on behalf of my team. Are you okay? I'm not! And I'm here to kill your funny plants! Well, you might as well give up now, Puffball, because we are the masters at preventing death. Say hello to the castle of the funny plant. It is impermeable to all the dangers of the rainforest. Uh, you clearly did put a ceiling on it. From alligators, to falling trees, huh? to snakes, to hurricane winds, to fish monsters, huh? to floods. Why didn't we consider that Puffball can just fly? I hate the ability to fly! Get out of there, Puffball! Stop it, Puffball! We're going to leave there immediately! This is our territory! Could you just, you know, jump? Black hole, you're our only flying... Give yourself leg ups? You have to fly in there and pull Puffball out. If you say so. You know what? I shouldn't get any closer. I could risk sucking up Puffball and others. That kills people, so no good. Black and the flowers. How could we lose sight of our main mission? Preventing death. Well, that may be your strange mantra, but it's not mine. Time for me to eat this silly plant. But Puffball. What now? Don't you remember to rule that if you kill any of the seven funny plants, your team loses? Oh, you're right. I actually forgot about that. Haha, <laughs> Black Hole couldn't stop you, but Two's arbitrary rule could! But there must still be a way to do something sneaky. Give up, PB. There is not. I've got it! <laughs> hey, Ice Cube! What? Come with me to the jungle! I've got to! You're back so soon! That bracelet ah! should have been there. Why would you do that? Here's the answer. Absol sorry, that bracelet should have fallen down immediately. Shriveling up and may die in mere minutes, so the 
the decision is yours. Snip your funny plan to halt the absorption or let Ice Cube wither away into nothingness. You did say your team was all about preventing death. Dang, she's clever. Okay, my job here's done. Bye. I'm back with a spoonful of water I found. It was on top of an ancient yellow face skeleton hiding in the shade. Here you go, oh, funny oh, plant. Oh. Wait, Cake, no! Huh? Price tag, what's wrong? Cake, don't you know? Any water that touches a yellow face skeleton is cursed! What? I had no idea! It's okay though. But how is it cursed? We can repair the pieces back together. No, you actually can't. Ah! Two, how did you get here? The desert is our biome. I have a color-changing bracelet, so I can teleport to whichever biome I want to. Ooh, that's actually pretty neat. Yeah, it is. Is it me or this music sound like it comes from Starbound? But the sad news is that your team, just not, is the first to let your funny plant die. So you're all up for elimination. Ah! Oh man, I'm so sorry, team. This is all my fault. No, Cake, don't say that. It's partly on us BFDIAers for not reminding you about that yellow face skeleton. Also, whoa, Pillow, when did I go from five points ahead of you in your oil chest to 30 Look, points? Look, see, behind? this music That's sounds a lot like it's from Starbound. I cursed by yellow face's skeleton. Uh, what? Our funny plants now, basketball. Nice and toasty. I mean, it is at a healthy temperature, but I don't feel comfortable with grassy being on fire right now. Guys, our funny plant is sucking up Ice Cube's water. She'll die soon. And then we'll be responsible for her death through negligence. Um, Grassy's bracelet is nearly completely charred. Do we know what happens when a bracelet gets destroyed? <laughs> I bet I'll be fine. When things are set ablaze, they're usually still fine. Why don't we just pull Ice Cube out? Remember, remote the walls of our castle are indestructible. If you want to try climbing them, be my guest. Huh. That was pretty easy. Nice job. Now try pulling Ice Cube out. Exerting 110% from battery. I can't do it. Tough wall really pushed Ice Cube and Jeep. I don't know, Eggy. This just whole just team dig him. Just, me nervous. just Why dig her out. Just dig her out. Ice Cube's bracelet off. No, that won't work. She'll be three feet underground and we'll no clip into the bedrock below, killing her. Bedrock? This bracelet really is about what to is this, Minecraft? I really have no idea what'll happen. Maybe we do have to decide between letting our funny plant slowly kill Ice Cube. Which we absolutely can't allow. Or killing our funny plant to save Ice Cube. Um, guys, if this grassy thing fails, what will you allow? Have a plan C? Oh, you could just, you know, dig I Ice Cube out. Flower. You're the same species as the funny plant. Got any backup plants? Well, she's not really, she's mechanical. Tree. I'm actually not the same species. What say you, Black Hole? A contestant life is worth more than a plant life. <sighs> we just gotta let that plant go. But that violates Doom's rules, and we'll lose the challenge. Remote, don't forget, our death prevention supersedes any little challenge. Every. Single. Time. Agreed, but how can we kill the plant? We need to snip it somehow. Hey! Team, Grassy's Brazily really is on its last legs now. It's about to crumble. I've got it. I'll go back to so, our I'm pretty sure, homeland. I'm pretty sure Grassy should be easy. Oh, yeah. Completely serious. Yeah, quickly. Get some marker. Snatch. Three, two, one. Ah, so, so where the scissors come from? Ah, I'm ah. What? Get the Scissors to my team! <laughs> wow, nice job, Marker. You got the scissors in the nick of time. Yes, now let's snip this funny plant and save Ice Cube! Snatch! Funny plant, it's time to die. Oh, right. I see. Are you in pain now? No. So you're perfectly comfortable. Yeah. Hurry, we prevented death. But death pact again, one thing you did not prevent is elimination. Because you killed your funny plant, one of your members will leave the show. Sorry guys. That was a necessary sacrifice. Yes, a necessary oh. sacrifice. Yes, was a it? necessary sacrifice. Cause I feel stuck now. now. You notice that marker is on fire! What the forest? Wow, what? I better get out of here. Can't, um, two, can't you just use your powers to extinguish the flames? 
There are two teams up for elimination, but you only get one vote total. So vote one contestant you want to have saved. The contestant with the fewest votes on Just Not and the contestant with the fewest votes on Death Pact Again will both be eliminated. Make your one vote count. Hello, viewers of Teapot 4. Thank you for watching the episode. It's me, Carrie. You know, I'm one of the Huang brothers, along with Michael. Um, this is the first BFBI episode I've written in a little while, so it's fun to try it out. It was a little longer than I expected. Um, it's really rainy outside right now. Got to film outside where it's lively than I expected. Mm, yeah. Um, it's really rainy outside right now. Got to film outside where it's lively. Hence the Outside Lands hoodie. Um, but with that being said, I hope you had a fun time watching it, and I'll see you in Teapot 5. Yeah. Okay, now that there's no source of heat, our funny plant will die. Figures. David smell like boogers. Gasp. What? It's true. Uh. <laughs> uh. Did Rocky just barf a second time? He sure did! What's wrong with that? Well, pressurized vomit could act as a lens! So, what's the issue with that? Well, if there's another gamma ray burst, the lens could refract it in any number of unpredictable ways. Why do you say that? Because I can oh, see really the voice but jiggling up Another part of would make it explode, right? <laughs> oh! Oh! And now our funny plant is dead. Uh, did the pulsar rate er, 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 were blocked by your shield? Whoa, what's happening? Oh, donut! It's simple. A gamma ray burst came from 2,763 light years away, got refracted by Rocky's vomit, went right through your mouth, and vaporized our funny plant. But you made it through unscathed. Oh, duh! It's so obvious now that you say it. What? And now huh? all the funny plants are uh. dead. Hooray! In one episode of Teapot, we managed to set a rainforest on fire and cause the complete extinction of a critically endangered species of funny plant. Aren't I managing Teapot so well? Oh. I'm managing it so well. Anyway, see you next episode. Uh, okay, too, but you could you could just you know oh bring it back, bring back the endangered extinct species. You should just bring back the extinct species back to life. I'm pretty sure you could do that too. Anyways, folks, that was my reaction to Teapot 4. See you guys soon. Take care. Stay tuned. Get tuned and be tuned.